following segment is sponsored by the AT&T Blue Room. Nintendo's ambassador of entrepreneurship, Wario, is always vigilant for the next big thing. Not one to rest on his laurels, a little spelunkering leads him to the mysterious Temple of Form. A few chance encounters and a giant Indiana Jones boulder later leave Wario out of breath but with the archaeological find of the century, the Form Baton, which shares a passing resemblance to the Wii Remote. It allows Wario to overcome any challenge and becomes the new craze, spreading across the city like a hot franchise gobbling up mom and pop stores. The WarioWare games are always about cramming a ton of weird little mini-games into one cohesive experience. Smooth Moves supplies over 200 activities that make use of the Wii Remote, sometimes in tandem with the Nunchuck. These micro-games, many lasting under 5 seconds, are wrapped around the characters of Diamond City, with 9-volt representing the retro circuit, newcomer Ashley working on her witchcraft, and Jimmy's massive Aquanet Fro remixing previous games with some new pizzazz. Micro games are all about forms, or how you use the Wii Remote. And Smooth Moves has so many that you'll need to grow some extra fingers or use your toes to count them all. Sure, some will have you driving Excite Truck style, or picking up the Wii Remote like you'd answer a phone. That's right. But expect to also take on the role of an elephant nose on more than one occasion. Other forms will have you high-fiving Nintendogs, shaving faces, drinking water, and demanding calories as you get off the couch and start hula-hooping or jumping around. And if you are disappointed by the lack of the granny shot in Wii Sports Bowling, Smooth Moves has got you covered. The game is structured so that each set of micro games has a theme, with our personal favorite being classic Nintendo. Just like prior games in the series, you have just a few seconds to complete each game or you fail. Bomb too many of the games, and you'll have to start the set all over again. Progressing through levels will eventually lead to brief boss battles, and even by Wario standards, they seem epic in length. Take down giant lizards, practice sword play with a kendo master, or try shaking your groove thing as sort of a Teletubby backup dancer. And of course, shoot bananas into giant, phlegm filled nostrils. Beating bosses opens up new levels and special versions of minigames that can go on forever, as well as letting you replay past levels till you run out of lives so you can see all the variations of the micro games. Some later levels even spin new elements into the game. Hula hooping for three seconds is fun, but can you keep it up indefinitely? About time. Wario has one more secret tucked in his overalls, and it involves the Miis. Don't be surprised to find your diminutive avatar showing up in cameo roles or even being the lead attraction in some micro games. Wario's crumb sized games never fail to amuse, and Smooth Moves forms push the game farther than before. The game's graphics are fluid and imaginative, and it's great to see so much effort poured into something that lives and dies in a few moments. The quality is prevalent everywhere, even to the Wii Remote speaker's constant chirping cacophony. Zelda may have broken in the Wii, but it's Wario who's looking to get into a groove. Be sure to check out the AT&T Blue Room at blueroom.att.com gaming.